Right now, everything you're doing on your device is being snooped on by big tech. I'm going to show you how to lock down your device so that you can tell those nosy fools to go ad friendly content. This is Nico Nose Tech. Nico Nose Tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Nose Tech, number one channel with the news on deck. All right, welcome back. So connected devices inherently have some privacy risks, whether you're on Apple, Mac, Windows, iPhone, Android, they all kind of have these issues where you have to kind of tweak the privacy settings. You probably know how to do that on your phones. If not, I'll teach you in another video. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to lock down Windows privacy. And we're going to start off with things with telemetry. And I'm going to show you a real easy tool. All right, the tool that I'm going to show you today is called O&O Shut Up 10. You can find it in the link in the description. It's here at oosoftware.com. And this is a powerful privacy tool that allows you to adjust the privacy settings of Windows 10 without having to know how to adjust the, mem the registry, the group policy editor, which if you have Windows 10 Home Edition, you don't even have the group policy editor. So this allows you to do a lot of things just with a click of a button. Now if you just download it here, I already downloaded it, and it's just an executable. It doesn't even have to install. And then this is the menu you'll have. Here's all the different privacy things, um, and they're all in categories, app privacy. Now I talked to you a little bit like different apps might try to ha access things on the system. Well, you can actually limit apps that you've installed. They might not have access to device location or your user account information. You can block all of this to where apps are installed in your app on your computer, but they don't have permission to go looking at what you're doing or looking at who you are. And I really like that. You can go through all of these and you can enable them with a click of a button. Um, it's going to ask you when you start changing things, do you want to create a restore point? Definitely do this because restore points allow you to go back in time. So let's assume that you create a restore point now and you don't like what ONO Shut Up 10 does. Now, ONO Shut Up 10 can just be reversed by coming here and going to the actions and then clicking revert all actions. But it's good to have restore points because what if you get ransomware tomorrow? Or what if you have a, an unexpected crash? That, that just happens on computers and devices. You can go back in time to where it was. So what I like to do is I like to do system restores before I'm gonna do any significant changes to the operating system or every three months. And I always do one after I do a fresh install when I have everything set up perfect because no matter what happens, I can go back to that restore point. So we're gonna ahead and click yes. And it's gonna say system restores being created. And once that's done, I'm going to show you how to really easily get this the way you want it. Now, you could go here and do this individually. And one of the nice things that it does under here is disables telemetry. Now, telemetry is Microsoft's background um, tracking service, which gathers data about usage um, and then sends it to Microsoft. They assert that it's innocent, but that's not what privacy is. If I don't want to transmit my data to Microsoft, and who knows if it is really what they say it is, I'm, I tend to not trust Big Tech, and so um, speaking of that, check out this message. Right now, Big Tech is collecting data on everything you do online and building a profile on you for financial gain, and you don't see a penny of it. Take back your privacy and take back control over your connected life by using a reliable VPN. Unsecure websites and public Wi-Fi are the easiest ways hackers can wreak havoc in your lives. But if you have NordVPN with its military-grade encryption, lightning-fast speed, and over 5,000 servers worldwide, you can browse safely and privately. NordVPN also has state-of-the-art, dedicated peer-to-peer -peer servers to protect your usage from your ISP, as well as Big Brother and with advanced obfuscation servers, you can access blocked websites or even streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and more anywhere in the world. NordVPN has a strict no-logs policy and has never and will never be pressured by governments. Take back your privacy today and use my exclusive link in the description to get a huge discount on NordVPN. Stay safe. All right, welcome back. So on O&O o, Shut Up 10, if you want to just really quickly and easily do the best kind of recommended settings, you can apply only recommended settings right here. And what it's gonna do is it's only gonna apply the most of the privacy features that are not gonna cause any part of Windows to not function correctly. So for example, it's not going to disable camera access to apps because what if you use Zoom, Skype, Discord, or any other types of chat services? It's also not gonna disable OneDrive because what if you're a student or maybe you use the OneDrive cloud service? If you don't use it, you can simply click it here. So even after you've done the recommended settings what if you like all of the recommended settings but you want to disable one more if you look here on Windows Defender and Microsoft SpyNet, a lot of my viewers don't like that they see in Security Center that some features are disabled. They think that's a security risk. No, you're just not giving a bunch of info to Windows Security about anything that's detected. Okay, so you can still be safe with Windows Defender without broadcasting to Microsoft, look what I found and look what I scanned. Okay, that's not necessarily their business. 
So after you do that, you can just uh, you can just hit the actions and then apply only recommended settings. If you want to go a step further and apply, this is what I do, but what I do doesn't necessarily work for you. And I know I know when to come here and tweak things. So I've done uh, on this time I've done uh, um, somewhat recommended and recommended. So some things well I'll have to change. For example, if I want to use my microphone, I have to uncheck this. Otherwise, if I try to go into a multiplayer game, this won't work. It won't work. If I want to use my camera, this has to work. See? And if you want to go a step further, you can go to apply all settings. Now, mind you, if you apply all settings, this machine will be extremely private, but a little bit more than is necessary because you're going to be stopping functions of Windows that are supposed to be working because you're not going to allow any communication out. So don't be surprised. Your computer will still function, but certain things that require communication without the user's consent won't function. Things like the Windows Store won't work um, because that does require sending some marketing data to Microsoft. If you want to go to the Google Play Store on your phone, sorry, you're going to talk to Google. Um, so that just has to work that way. <clears throat> and then so you can go through here, even if you want to set up just the recommended settings, somewhat recommended, or even all of them, you can go uncheck things that you want to have running. And what this will also turn off is the bit service. The bit service is the background intelligent transfer service, and Microsoft will tell you that this is to speed up Windows updates for you. That's actually not true. What it does is, is when you download a Microsoft Windows update, after that you are going to provide yourself as a file server to give that update to other users of Microsoft Windows on the internet. And that's to save Microsoft Windows, uh, Microsoft Corporation bandwidth. You're going to do it for them. <clears throat> you can opt out of that. So as part of this, we, we do disable the bit service. So this is a very important thing because a lot of privacy tweaks are either dangerous to Windows because they, they counter stability by doing manual changes to the registry or deleting functions of Windows even if you don't like them. Like one thing I've told people is, is don't delete Microsoft Edge. Even if you're not gonna use it, removing it causes stability issues because they did put it as part of Windows. This is a safe way to add privacy and if you combine this with VPN and solid security software, you'll have a much more secure time and you can actually compute knowing that nobody is go looking through your stuff without permission. This will stop over 15 communications that are going out simultaneously on a Windows machine and possibly more if you have a lot of chatty apps. I hope this was a benefit to you. Like and comment in the description and in the comments rather down there and tell me how these things have worked for you and tell me about things that you'd like to see on the channel. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, my link's in the description and I will see you next time.